So some of you might not know this about me, but I actually have a background in security tech. And when Yuffie reached out to me about this particular security camera setup, I was incredibly excited for a few reasons. Number one, check that out. That says free, no monthly fees. Now I do have security cameras set up right now and they're wired, which meant I had to drill from the inner wall to the outer wall, which is a messy job. And it can also ruin brickwork in the process. And these cameras are completely wireless. And not only are they wireless, they actually harness the power of the sun with their own built-in solar panels. And I am aware of the fact that there are other cameras out there that have solar panels, which you can attach to the wall next to the camera. But I don't like those for two reasons. One, you gotta put another bracket on the wall. And two, they look shit. This is by far a better solution. So when I heard that these were 4K, that to me says that these cameras have a bigger image sensor. And also these have Bionic AI Mind, which also tells me that this is probably a lot smarter than the camera I'm currently using. And while yes, you can pay for cloud storage, one of the advantages that Eufy offers is that you can actually store locally here on the base station with an SSD drive plugged into it. So I'm gonna unbox it now, set it up, and then we're gonna fast forward two weeks so that I can explain to you guys from real world use how these actually perform. Remember, this is England, so we don't get much sun. So this is the base station and this is where the hard drive goes. And you can see at the top here, it says to push this side and that pops the lid. And then you take this screw out, slot the SSD in and Anchor do sell the SSD they recommend for this. And I must say, these look like real proper security cameras, unlike what I'm currently using. And you gotta love the blue circle around the camera lens and check out the flash there as well on the actual cameras. So of course there is a full setup guide in the user manual and it does recommend you charge the uh, cameras beforehand as well, but it talks you through how to set up the base station and all that kind of stuff. And you'll notice here it says, try and position these cameras in a place where they're gonna get two hours sunlight a day. And also it shows you how high it should be. So it should be between two meters and three meters off the ground. Okay, so I've overshot the two weeks by an additional two weeks and it's now been a month that I've been using the new Eufy Cam 3 and here's what I've discovered. So I fitted these cameras to my house front and back on September 14th. It's now October 12th and in the intro I did say we'll find out how good these solar panels really are and do you know what? They're actually very, very good. It is autumn, so that means there's not that much sun here in England at the moment. Not that there ever is that much sun here in England, but check this out. This is the youth app. If I go to the camera in my back garden, right now it's still a 100% battery one month later. And you can even see how many times it's detected. It's going off all the time. Every time the dog goes outside, every time I go outside, it even picks up if there's foxes and stuff like that. And it'll even tell me that it's a pet now I do have the setting on optimal battery life. So the clips are just 20 seconds. Of course, there are variables that could run down the battery quicker. So if you set it to optimal surveillance, you can set it to 60 second clips, or you can do a customized one. But check this out. If you live in a sunny country, somewhere where the sun is always shining, first of all, I'm very jealous of you. And second of all, you're gonna love these cameras because literally all they need is two hours sunlight per day and they can run forever. And I actually believe that. I thought that was a bit of a bold statement, but I actually do believe that's true. And there's actually these charts within the app, which actually show you how much solar energy these cameras are capturing on a daily basis. And you can even look at it over 30 days as well. So in a way, if you go for these cameras and not a wired solution or a battery operated solution without solar panels, you're kind of saving the planet. All right, let's talk about storage and the base station. So. I didn't really show you guys this in the intro, so I'll just show you quickly now. On the back of this, this is wired directly into my modem, and it's also wired directly into a power supply. The great thing about this is it has its own 16 gig storage in there. In the one month that I've been using this, it's used four gigs of data, and it's also using about four gigs for the actual user interface and the uh, software side of things. But check this out. This base station isn't just for storage. It will actually upgrade the functionality on some of your existing Eufy cameras, if you have some, 
and also your doorbells. And it does this because the Homebase 3 has UV's trademarked Bionic AI Mind technology that can recognize humans as well as pets and vehicles. And you can even add familiar faces to the app so that their names will pop up when the camera recognizes them. And they'll also let you know when they spot a stranger. But disclaimer here, because this is a pre-release version of this system and the Homebase 3 is so new, at the time of this video, not all of the old Eufy cameras are supported on the Homebase 3 yet. And Eufy's official statement regarding this is on screen right now. And check this out. Behind this little door here is a one terabyte SSD, which I installed myself. That is actually untouched at this point in time, one month down the line. If I'm using about four gigs a month, by the end of the year, I'm gonna use about 48 gigs of video storage, and that's on two cameras. Of course, there are variables here when it comes to storage. The more cameras you have, the more footage is gonna capture, so therefore, the bigger the hard drive you might need. The great thing about this is you can actually put a 16 terabyte hard drive in here if you want to. And this also has its own siren built in as well, so the cameras do have anti-theft sirens built in, so if someone tries to grab them off the wall, they'll start making a noise but this will also siren as well to let you know someone's tampering with your cameras. One little issue I ran into with these cameras and it's entirely my fault because I didn't actually screw the bracket on tight enough and when the wind was pretty strong, it wobbled the camera and it triggered the uh, anti-theft alarm to go off. But once I checked the cameras and that, I realized it wasn't anything, it was just the wind uh, that caused that. So here's the dashboard for the base station. And as you can see, I've got two cameras connected to it. I've got five recognizable faces four unrecognized, and then you can enable all of these uh, extra features for your other cameras, like I mentioned before. We have access to the storage on the device. So you can see this is the local storage actually pre-built into the base station. And this is the expanded one terabyte that I've added. It's not even been used yet. And from here, you can actually format or clear the device as well. But there is something else I wanna show you. You can actually plug in an external hard drive via USB to transfer the footage onto that and then just format the one that's in there if you want to. So there's a bunch of flexibility when it comes to storage. Now to keep things really real for you guys, I wanna show you the driveway camera. That's this one that I've taken down today just for the sake of the video. This one goes off way more frequently than the garden one because every time I get a delivery and I get loads of them, it goes off. Every time I come home or anybody comes to the house, it goes off. So this one is used way more frequently than the one in the garden. And the battery life here on this one is 73%, but you can see how many more detections it's had. And also, because the garden is south facing, the back of the house gets more sun than the front of the house. And there's actually a tree in front of my house that blocks the sunlight. So this is actually in the shadow most days. So the fact that it's actually still charging, even though it's on the darker side of the house, is pretty impressive. And the solar charging efficiency is definitely lower due to that fact. Now check this out, at some point, I may need to take it down to charge it manually. And if you do find yourself in that situation, there is a little weather seal port here on the back, a USB-C port, and the cables in the box to recharge these if you have to do it manually. So at this point in time, I'm actually hoping and praying for some sun so I don't have to get up the ladder again to take this down. And actually, thanks to the new Bionic Mind features within the base station and the app, we can actually mitigate the battery usage quite a bit if we want to by actually telling it not to trigger when it sees people that it recognizes, for example, myself. And I can set it to just detect unknown faces if I wanted to. And I could also turn off these other things like pet detection and vehicle detection, because those things might not be something you need to keep an eye on. So these are things you can do to slow down the battery usage. And you can also turn down the sensitivity and even set activity zones as to where you want it to pick up. For example, here, I've got an area next to the door. If someone comes through that door, I want it to pick up. I can set other areas around the field of view to limit the amount of trigger time. So you're probably wondering what is the video quality like from these cameras? Well, what I'm gonna do is show you some footage here in the studio. Then I'm gonna show you guys what my old cameras look like and then what these cameras look like. And I'll also show you guys some night footage. So let's go. So this is the video and audio quality from the cameras. And I'm really close to the camera here, literally less than a meter. And uh, it's a fairly well lit studio in here. So this is the 4K quality that you would get in an ideal condition. Right, this is the video quality on my old camera, 1080p. 
probably about two meters away from the camera here, roughly. So this is the kind of quality I was getting before. Okay, so this is the new Yuki Cam 3. Same noise in the background, same lighting conditions, different angles. But let me know how this looks compared to my old camera. And now, let's check out the same camera at night. Okay, so this is the nighttime footage, same spot, it's dark outside now. I don't have the floodlight on though, so this is the night vision that you see in here. Okay, so this is what the footage looks like, 4K with the floodlight on. And you can see it's really quite bright out here now. And this could act as a fantastic deterrent if you have it in an alleyway or something like that. So I'm just gonna say, I think these are the best wireless camera solutions ever made to date because you don't have to change the batteries. They can be placed anywhere. The ecosystem is massive. You can add doorbells and floodlights and loads of other stuff, including robot vacuums. And there's no very expensive company siphoning money out of your bank account on a monthly basis. But if you do want the cloud storage option, 10 pound a month can support up to 10 cameras for 30 days. So that's really good value, but you don't have to do that. When it comes to the storage side of things, you've got the built-in storage, you've got the SSD storage, you can use a USB external hard drive to back everything up. There really is a lot of options. And one of the greatest things about this is the fact that it can be anywhere. You're not limited as to where you put it based off of the power supply. It can literally be anywhere. And the back of the device has a quarter 20 thread. So that means you don't even need to use the supplied bracket if you don't want to, you could use another one. And the AI is brilliant. It'll actually learn who people are over time and it'll even pop up in notifications to say who's there, who's walked past the camera and when. And one very underrated feature that I think a lot of other people will tell you to turn off is the floodlight feature. And I do agree, if it's in a busy area, definitely turn it off. But if you've got this at the side alley of your house or something like that, that feature can actually act as a very good deterrent for burglars. For example, side of your house, people shouldn't really be walking down there in the middle of the night. Someone walks down there, floodlight goes on, camera comes on, that could potentially scare a burglar away before they even think about trying to break in. And the last thing I wanna mention about this is the price. The price is just right for a product of this caliber. If you guys wanna check out the latest price, there'll be a link below the video and there might even be a discount there for you guys. And if you guys wanna check out Eufy's robot vacuum, there's a thumbnail on screen right now. They say it's the world's most powerful robot vacuum and I did ruin my carpet in the making of that video. So go check it out and I'll see you guys in the next one. So don't be late.